on the potential live life your way and it's tuesday evening i know i say this every week but it is absolutely the truth tuesday evening is my favorite favorite time of the week why because i get to be online with you i get to be on my show talking to amazing people and having a great time so a lot of things happened um this week one of the um one of my uh guests that was on the show um, when I first started, Robert Trott, and he is younger than last year. He had his fourth annual birthday challenge. And what his birthday challenge is, I, I have it on my Facebook. What his birthday challenge is, is that he challenges people who are younger than him by like, he's 60, no, 59 going into 60. Okay. And he challenges like um, 30 year olds and 40 year olds to exercise with him. And they have, so Robert is really into like um, comic books and things. Yeah. So he sets it up like a comic book um, style environment where you have the whiz, bang, pow, That's boom, funny. all these things. And so this year he had the, the villain room. All right. So he has inside is the, you know, I guess the superhero room. And then the other side is the villain room. And inside of the villain room, it's like really difficult exercises. Okay. And this year he had two women. One of them was my next door neighbor. Okay. Shout out to Madeline Klein. Uh, no, Madeline Klosterman. Madeline Klein's another lady. Madeline Klosterman. I would love to see Madeline Klein do Robert's exercise, but I don't think that's going to happen. And, um, so she she uh, actually joined his um, gym and uh, participated. Uh, that girl is like strong. Is she typically a person that works out? Um, I think she used to be a bit of a runner, but um, you, she used to be a runner, but now she's doing he's and everything that he does is with your body. So it's okay. not you're not using like the equipment. Sticks. Yeah, you'll use one of those big balls, or you'll pull on you'll go on a pole. But what it is, it's younger than last year. Is you should be able to use your body to build your strength and you use your body in a way that if you're ever in an emergency, right, you can get out of it. Right. And it's, it's one of the things that one of the guys was saying, he says that um, he's been doing it, working out with Robert now for seven years. And he said that when he started, he wasn't as strong as he is now. And what he found was that like, if he's going to trip down the stairs, you know, sometimes you go in the stairs and you do that stumble yes, thing. Yeah. He says now that he's got enough, catch himself. Yeah. He's got enough core strength and body strength to right. catch himself. So Robert caters to that, like, older crowd of people that are healthy but mm -hmm. not as healthy as they'd like to be okay so it was really good it was a lot of fun so it was it was great to be then go pow whiz bang <laughs> you know all those stupid stuff from way back in the wind <laughs> so so that was really good so thank you robert that was really great and i really do see that um his uh, birthday challenge becoming a really big deal because there was twice as many people there on saturday as mm -hmm. there was when he started so I how really, long has it been he's been doing it like four years now this okay. is his fourth year so it's really growing so wow. it was just it was really exciting and, and there was mummy power so <laughs> that was really good too so anyway that was more less of me and you know there's a lot of things i could talk about but i choose to speak about that situation um and i think he'll be happy um oh let me just give you a shout out for him www younger than last year so tonight I have a very, very good friend of mine who is, um, we, we became really fast friends. Yeah, instant. In, yeah, like instantly. And, um, and we've kept in contact. Um, her name is Lisa Green with an E. Yes, because I'm always doing right. the one with that. You know, when I, my, my ex-husband, his father's name was Green. And he had his mother's name, which is Sumter. And uh, when we got married, he wanted me to change my name to Noreen Green. Green. <laughs> Can you imagine me as a Noreen that would be Green? <laughs> so many E's. I don't know. This is like a lot of E's, right? So anyway, yes, Lisa. Lisa is in the beauty and wellness sphere, right? Okay. And um, I, I sort of think of you as a woman with alien technology. <laughs> Shh, don't give it away know, right <laughs> because it's you know you have all these products that are like um so unusual and i must say lisa did my hair once and it was fabulous she blow dried this thing bone straight right this <laughs> bone dead straight and we really like it lasted a day and then in the morning at night while i was sleeping it like secretly curled itself back up <laughs> 
look, this is not going anywhere. You know, so welcome, Lisa, to the show. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having oh, me. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's my pleasure, you know. Um, so Lisa, just tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from originally? Because I, I actually I, yeah. Queens. You're originally from originally Queens. New so York, you're a New York Queens. girl. Um tried and true. You know, Born but you, you have this thing like you're from somewhere else. Why does everyone say that? <laughs> really? People everyone say that? says that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, you seem like you're from, I don't know, somewhere else. Mars? Just not. <laughs> maybe that's where the alien technology comes from. But no, you just seem like you're not a native New Yorker. I don't okay. know. Maybe it's just your disposition. Possibly. Ah. Well, New Yorkers are nice. Come on. Yeah, we get a bad rap. New Yorkers are really nice. I was thinking In about that earlier. We are. Yeah, New York is. No, I don't crisis. even think it's a pinch. For it I to think, come out. I don't. I, I, I don't have that experience. I have it that New Yorkers are great. You you meet the occasional nut job, but you know. Well, that's overall for me. That means a lot coming from you because you're yeah, not a New Yorker. Native, yeah, I, so. I love New York. I, I think that you know, New Yorkers. Um, compared to all the places that I've been to, they're one. They're more helpful. They're kind. You know, they will take time with you, even though it appears like we're busy doing nothing, rushing around. Right. It's not the truth. Because people will stop. That's. And answer your question yeah. and direct you. If you're and, in need, for yeah. sure. And, and they, they'll help yeah, you out. I that's just, true. I'm a New Yorker. I help people out. So, you know, hey, what can I tell you? I'm a transplant, but you know. <laughs> so you're originally from Queens. Yes. Do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, yes, I do. But they're like all over the place. Oh, so you, you have know? a lot. Do you have yeah, a lot? Yeah. How many do you like have? A tribe. How many do you, I bet you can't. I bet you can't top me. Come on. Well, I bet I could. Go ahead. Because my dad actually married several times. Oh wow, several times. Several times, but not because you know, not from divorce. You know, but you would typically right. believe. Right. He's just a really strong person, uh -huh. and he's just outlived all four, his wives. Four wives. Jesus Christ. So how many brothers? Yeah. Come on, you. How many brothers and sisters? So I think I lost count, Maureen. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, you that many? Me. No, I think maybe thirteen. <laughs> well, if you think about it, it's yeah, like four women. Well, yeah, that's true. I met this woman the other day, and she said to me, "She's got thirteen children." I said, "You got yeah, what? from one body? That's yeah, like, scary." I said, I said, "Thirteen?" She said, "Yeah." I was like, oh, "Wow, really special." <laughs> well, my mother's got my mother had nine, right? So she had two prior to my father, and then she had us seven. Okay. Right? See, so well. now, now we're down to six. My sister oh, just wow. died. Um, yeah, you my were sister telling died, me about that. Uh, what was it last week? Yes. So now we're down to. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to say now we're down to um, six because even though her body is dead, she'll never be dead she'll, to me. Thank you. You know what I mean? She's very much we think alive very much in my heart, like, in my right. memories, in like in my DNA, that's the it. whole nine yards. So I, I don't really, you know, I don't. I was saying to some, somebody was saying to me the other day, "Aren't you sad?" And I'm like. My sister was suffering with breast cancer right. for 10 years, right? And she fought a good fight. Okay. And then after a while, it just metastasized and went into her bones and it went into her liver and it went into her brain. Oh, and, that and she painful. died, you know, and I spoke to her and I knew she was going to die. But I asked her, I said, you know, it's in your brain. Do you think, she said, Noreen, I'm awake today. I'm uh -huh. alive today. I'm not dead yet. When wow. my time's come, I'll go. Wow. You know, not that you can stay, but you know. And so I kind of knew it, you know, but I like to think positively, but I knew she was going to die. So she just died. And we're going to go bury her on the 11th and we're having like this whole big celebration and stuff. That's... But for me, it's always, you know, death has never been one of those things that I thought about for like as, as final. And I learned that at 11. That's interesting that you say that. You know? I had this conversation just last week. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Because I also know that you're very spiritually inclined. Exactly. And that's the thing that we, we connect to. Connect it. Exactly. You know, so I, no, I'm not sad. Right. I'm not, I'm not regretful. We're all going to go that that's, route. I don't think it's the final frontier, right. you know, and I think nobody comes back and tells us what's going to happen. But I'm sure they're just so busy having a really great time. <laughs> time. You know, like when you go to a really good party <laughs> yes. and you're like, oh, I'm not thinking about anybody but partying, you know, so we'll see them on the, on uh -huh. the flip side. And so, she's seeing you all the time. Exactly. <laughs> she's watching me. That's right. <laughs> I was thinking that the other day. I bet. <laughs> all right. So you, you have 13 siblings, yes. you know, and uh, so you're in the beauty and wellness here. Is that something that you've always gone into? Not at all. So what did you do prior to? Because well, then we've all had a prior life. Yeah, I've had several prior okay. lives, actually. Um, 
Believe it or not, I started out with insurance. Okay. Oh, don't say that too loud. <laughs> <laughs> so you sold insurance. Property casualty. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, what, what, what did you get from that? Because you got something that, from that that actually helps you with what you do now. Well, I guess mm, the corporate part, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with the corporate world. Mm -hmm. So that, I would say, that helped me because when actually, okay, it's kind of a long convoluted story, mm -hmm. but um, I landed in insurance totally accidentally right? because I, my mom actually, I lost my mom at a very early age. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, your mom is your portal, right? Right. So it kind of changes you permanently. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I feel like I became a, an adult right. a lot earlier than most would have. Right. Right. So at that point, I felt, OK, mm, school mm, and I was an A student. Right. Right. But, you know, things change when you lose someone right, so young. Right. You had to become the adult. Yeah. In your life. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So I didn't quite do school traditionally the way mm -hmm. most people would. Right. Straight through. Right. I kind of played around a little bit. Right. But because I still had the, you know, the tools, right. I was able to jump back in, you know, after I had kind of screwed up a little bit, uh -huh. right? Well, so, I, don't, I don't believe in screwing yeah, up. Okay. <laughs> I believe in experiences. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. You know, we all have experience. I mean, I like when I look back at my life or look through my life, not back, but through my life, I mean, I'm not still. Right. <laughs> a, lot a lot of stuff. Of stuff. When you, you can read it in my memoirs. When you dial it. <laughs> You know, all the things that they say you shouldn't do, I've done them. You've done them. Right. right exactly. So you go into, you go into um, insurance, but I yes. would say that insurance probably taught you how to be with people. It really did. You know, because you're meeting lots of totally different people. It really did. And so when you actually got into, it was, you know, health and wellness, because you do hair and body and right. you know, everything and at everything, this point. Right? right. So when you got into that when you got into that industry, did you sort of ask yourself, how did I end up here? Or you just knew? This no, is where you were I going? actually, people asked me, what was I doing in insurance? Because I was always very creative. Right. Um, and obviously, insurance is pretty dry. Right. Right. Um, I started there. Like I said, I kind of fell on it. Um, and then that's when I went back to school and I went to College of Insurance. Right. Because when I, right. College of Insurance. Yes. I can't even see you in the College I know. Of Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Do I look like, right? <laughs> it's like, really? I'm in the College of Insurance. I know, right? <laughs> oh, there oh you are. Oh my God. Did you have to learn not to smile? And there you are. <laughs> in the College of Insurance. You would imagine, teach... right? Wow. Yeah. All right. We're going to come back to the College of Insurance in one second. So see you soon. <laughs> You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Are you stuck in a rut? Negative thoughts, feelings, and conversations got you down? Hi, I'm Noreen Sumter, The Potentiator. Tune in every Tuesday at 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time and listen for new ideas on my show, Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way, on talkradio.nyc. Who do you want to connect with? Are you an entrepreneur or intrapreneur looking to build your following? Welcome to our show. Follow me Friday with Joan and Priya. Tune in every Friday at noon Eastern on talkradio.nyc. We're, We're your digital connectors. connectors. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> Talking Alternative Radio, 24 hours a day. So I'm back. 
with on Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. And welcome to all the new people that haven't been on my show before. I'm really grateful. I did something right this week. So I'm tonight I'm speaking with Lisa Green from Luxury Hair. Hair. Plus. But plus, but you're you have that's the baby part of the company that you have a major well, part. Well, yes. The parent company is International Virtual Corp. Right. And then Luxury Hair Plus is uh, one of the DBAs. Right. And then, you, then but you do a lot of stuff. Uh, right. Was, you, she does a lot of stuff, <laughs> right? Because you also have a part of your business that makes wigs. Right. Right. Which, like, they're handmade and each freaking strand is hand knotted. Exactly. Like, and the base. It's Everything is handmade, not just... The ventilating, because that's what that's called. Right. The hand knotting is the technical term for it is ventilating. Right. And uh, so that's one portion of a wig, but then you have the base, which it's like without a proper base, you right. can have the best ventilating in the world if the base is not fitting. It's like a suit, a custom right, right, suit. Right, right, the difference right. between a custom suit. Right. Well, you know my wig story. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I, I was tell a riot. It, though. It was a riot. <laughs> uh, did I ever come here with a wig? I don't remember. <laughs> It's probably really hot. My sister said I was always doing it. Right. <laughs> like my white girl moment. <laughs> I loved it. Um, so, okay. So you make wigs. You do like, um, you make wigs from scratch. Yes. And, and we then, teach. Oh, also she teaches. What else do you do? Yes. So that's the, that's, and then for, you know, I guess if we want to stick a little bit on the wigs, we also, um, for people who are suffering from cancer, mm -hmm. right, for chemo, um, we do, um, it's interesting because obviously if we can catch them before they actually start treatment, right. we can actually harvest their own hair. Oh, nice. Yes. So it's the, the effort of making them really feel more like themselves. Right. What better than to have them have a wig made of their own hair? Oh, wow. So what, if they know they're going to have chemo and I they can, know that they're going to have Yes. Cut, and if they have a nice head of out, hair, they can I can take it. it. Yes. Oh, wow. That's, and do you hear also, that, people? It also saves them from the trauma of losing it. Right, because they have something to it's look not forward nice. to. Yeah, it's not nice to see your hair, you know, oh, falling no. like that. So if, if they, Yeah, my sister's hair fell out. See, All see, of her hair fell you out. You see, absolutely. She had the ugliest wig ever, though. It's, unfortunately. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. The <laughs> ugliest oh, wig ever. No. I was like, what are you wearing? Why? Right. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the love, whoever that was. Yeah, so you can, but you, so a person that has short hair like mine, no, you couldn't, no, 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 it's not hair. that. It's for somebody who has long, somebody hair. who has long hair, right? Right? So, I mean, if you have short hair, you know, you just get like a short, little you just afro. get a short, right? It's not going to happen, right? Either. Which is interesting too, because right. we also do custom textures. Uh, that's right. So I can actually create your texture exactly, but naturally, not right. with no chemical right. and so on. And you make a lot of wigs for people in the theater. And I'm not asking you to say who you make wigs for I won't. or anything like that. <laughs> you, know, you make a lot of um, we wigs work for with celebrity people. Well, here's the interesting piece. This is that we provide hair for people who are making wigs in Broadway because that's really mm. where I got started, started uh -huh. in hair. I don't know if you've been here long enough. Do you remember that? There, well, there was a store on um, uh, 8th Avenue um, on the west side in the mm -hmm. Broadway. In the, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the celebrity Maybe my style. Broadway people would know. Okay, that. yeah, they would know, right? It, used to, it was called Ray's Beauty. Okay. Okay, yeah. well, it's the kind of the go-to, right. right? And so, you know, I was their sole hair provider. Right. That How did you location. get into that? Oh, that's another story. <laughs> because I kind of transitioned from, I had a transition from uh, one career into another. School of insurance. No, it wasn't oh, that, oh, okay. actually. <laughs> uh, from a magazine. Because I was publishing a magazine. Right. I think I told you that yeah, before. Yes, you told me about the magazine. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. and this is a woman of lots of trades and lots of skills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. And so transitioning from that, you know, advertising started to get a little, you know, difficult. Right. You know how that goes, you know, after 9-11 and right. so on, you know, the, the current changed. Right. So it's like, you know, I always say if you're an entrepreneur, it's, it's, uh, success happens, but you have also have to know when to cut your losses. Right. When to quit. It's super important. And it's not quitting, it's just cutting your losses. No, cutting right? your losses yeah. and understanding, okay, well, you know what? <laughs> that worked for then. Right. I've got to create something let's, new. let's move on. Right. So <clears throat> if you were to uh, describe um, or, or share with somebody who is looking to become an entrepreneur, what would you say 
uh, some of the skills and talents that you have to have? Or how do you build yourself, create yourself? Well, for me, I think one of the most important things is to be able to Mm self-discipline. Because when I first uh, got into my head that that's what I really wanted to do, Mm -hmm. it's like the battle of, okay, so now you're working for yourself. Do you pop the TV on? Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Are you going to pop the TV on or are you going to go and, you know, fish for leads? Right. Like, right. And it's just so to speak. Right. Um, so it's really to have, you know, really have discipline and to really understand that, you know, it begins and ends with you. Right. So use your time wisely and and to try to um, seek. Right people who've already been there right. and succeeded. Support. Right, exactly. It's funny, I was having a conversation this weekend with um, two ladies and one works for somebody and the other one runs her own business. And so she was getting ready to close up. And uh, one said one said to them, how come you're always the last to close up? Mm-hmm. And as she, so she said, because I am, I'm just always the last to close up okay. where, the, where we were. And, um, and I said, she's an entrepreneur, right? And so... She's not just going to close, you know, it gets to six o'clock and she's just going to close the right. door. No, there's things that she has to mentally prepare for for the next day or Absolutely. the next week or whatever the case may be. So the other person was said, well, what for me, when I, when 4, 4.45 and I know I'm leaving at five, I'm packing up my desk and I'm putting my things away. And I said, yeah, because you're not an entrepreneur. Well, there you are. You are guaranteed a salary whether That's you it. do any work or not. That's it. Right. I said, she has to create the difference is that you have to create your own salary, right. you know? And so she was like, oh, really? She goes, no, I'm out of there. Five o'clock on the <laughs> nose. I'm out of there. I said, because you, she just couldn't get yeah. it that she's not an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, as a person that is um, making their own salary, um, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a hustler, it doesn't matter what you are. At the end of the day, we're all hustling for that dollar, dollar. to take care of whatever right. we need. Um, so you have to be willing to, you kind of have to have foresight. You kind of always have to be growing and you like, you have to have this reticular activator that's always scanning the horizon for what, the thing that's next. Perfectly said. You know, and so she just couldn't get it though. But it, it wasn't it, for her to get. Exactly. Because, you know, some, some do and some don't. Right. That's why the that's whole why world she's is not, not full of, yeah. all, right. That's right. It's only a select few and right. it's, it's hard work. So you, you make the wigs, yes. which they're fabulous, by the way. Thank you. You make... Um, and then tell us about your new, oh yeah, you got this technology with the, tell us about the pants. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about the you pants. You know, here's the interesting thing about the pants. I had toyed with, in my head, excuse me, with the mic, uh-huh. um, because there's, the mic. there's so mm-hmm. much going on with, you know, the transition in me getting to having the mm-hmm. pants, mm-hmm. right? And so at this point, I thought to myself, let's leave something for next time. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, right, right. Let's see. Because easy. people are going to want right, them. Right, right. I mean, they're going to, these things are so spectacular right. that, I, you know, it's like teasing people. Right. Oh, okay. We're not going to tease you all. <laughs> right. But like, she's got some really great. Because they're not, they're not stocked yet. Right. And you don't want to be, uh, like, uh, yes. You know, it says, I don't want to be Oprah, you know, like it says, the pants. <laughs> what pants? <laughs> and then all of a sudden I say the pants and you're like, you know, everyone. I can pants. tell you what they do. Right. Tell me what they do. Okay. She'll tell us what okay. pants do. So it's based, it's a, it's kind of a therapeutic fabric. Mm-hmm. And what it does is... Is it like compression? It's not compression. Okay. It's not like anything that already exists, which is what makes Alien it so technology. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, oftentimes um, when we see things that, that are um, cutting edge, mm-hmm. right, those things often come from some but he else's idea that right. really didn't do it 100%. Right. Right. And somebody else saw and somebody it, else saw it, it. and built. Some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yes, there are garments out there now that are uh, supposed to do various things. Mm-hmm. Uh, compression, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are some out there that are for weight loss, mm-hmm. right? Um, tummy slimming. Mm-hmm. and. But is it like, is it, is, is it tummy slimming? Like, remember those, um, those waist nippers? You know that, that thing that was out there and you literally, I, it was like wearing a vice. Yeah. I bought it, wore it once and that was it. Yeah, it was I a big deal for a while. It was all over thing. social media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely not like that. There's right. no compression involved. Right, right. No and, stuff, suffering. <laughs> no suffering. Stuffing and suffering. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. So there, um, and then it's also with those garments, often what you are losing is really water weight. Right. So you know the danger of that. What happens is, is that you get all giddy. Oh, look at me today. And all you do is wait 
a couple days and that water comes right back on. Right. And it's, I was reading something the other day and it was saying that water can actually kill you. Like if you drink too much water. Absolutely. You, that's, I don't believe you're saying that because I literally had a conversation yet I'm again. Psychic. That is crazy. My girlfriend mm-hmm. whose husband is literally dealing with that over a month or two ago and then landed in the hospital. What he was drinking too much, too water. much water. How much water was he drinking? A lot. He was like, and, and not eating. Was he on a water diet? I didn't get that deep into it. Right. Right. But he landed in the emergency room and it was serious. Right. Like is, really serious. They said that, you know, actually the stomach really can only hold four big cups of water. Got it. Anything over that, your organs start to drown. Well, she didn't explain it to me in its entirety, but she did say, Lisa, he's in the hospital and it's bad. He ODs on water. <laughs> right. <laughs> like who knew? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what were they? There was this other thing. That I, I read such nonsense sometimes. I was reading this thing and it was saying like, you need 240 avocados for it to kill you. I'm like, who is oh my God, who 240 And who even avocados? counts? Right. right? Really? It's, it's crazy. But with the water, you can actually drown. Like you can drown yes. your organs too much water. Right. No, so, well, you've explained it now because, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't really get dig deep into. Right. I was so like confused about the fact that water could actually land him there. Right. And it did. So it pulls out the water. So and... it doesn't. Oh. Those, the ones that are on the market now, that's what they do. They basically, right. you know, they, they dehydrate they you, dehydrate you right? right? Um, this... But don't you get crinkly, wrinkly skin when you get dehydrated? You can. You can. And you get drawn, uh-huh. right? Born. You can look a little haggard. <laughs> right. Right, from dehydration. It takes, you know, the, the plumpness. Right. You so know, what would you, skin. okay, so we talked about like that, but there's another area that I want to talk about and you probably know about it, like anti-aging. When oh, did yes. anti-aging become such a, such thing? a thing? Well, I, I think, honestly, it was always a thing. Right. I believe it was always a thing, even back to Nefertiti. Right, Cleopatra. <laughs> right, yeah. right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I think what happens is that we, as we were talking about earlier, is that they just become new labels for what it is. Right. So now it's um, Neutrogena's banned the word um, anti-aging. anti-aging. They now call it um, pro-skin. So skin health and things mm, like that. Exactly. Right. So anti, because you can't stop aging. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> How the hell? The only way that you can stop aging is to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's not a good option. And then everything will look good. <laughs> No, but it's like, you know, the anti-aging, anti-wrinkling. And, the, and oh, uh, this, there's another thing that we as black women or black women say is like, black don't crack. Oh, that's not true. Okay, talk to me. Oh, that's so not true. Okay. <laughs> so black don't crack. What do we do? I think we droop. Thank you. That is absolutely true. Right. That is right. We droop and we do crack. It depends. It uh-huh. depends. I mean, if it's just a matter of how you live your life. Right. So environmentally, if you are doing things that are causing it, it's going to cause your skin to dry up. Right. Yeah, it will crack. Like alcohol. Yes, absolutely. You smoking. said it. Smoking. You said it. Thank you. What else? Um, alcohol, smoking. Um, if you're sick. Yeah. If you're ill. Yeah. Right. But you know, no, but I different. Do, but I do know with the um, the drooping. Oh, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Do you love or are you intrigued about New York City and its neighborhoods? I'm Jeff Goodman, host of Rediscovering New York weekly show that showcases New York's history and its extraordinary neighborhoods. Every Tuesday live at 7 p.m., we focus on a particular neighborhood and explore its history, its vibe, its feel, and its energy. Tune in live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on talkradio.nyc. Talking Alternative Radio, 24 hours a day. Ooh, 
probably somebody trying to get me. So we're back on Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way. And I am starting some controversy. I'm going to start some, what's that man said? Some sugar, honey, <laughs> S-H-I-T, sugar, honey, iced tea. I'm going to start some sugar, honey, iced tea. <laughs> I learned that today. <laughs> right? Black does, it does crack. Crack. I mean, we are a lot more resilient. Right. But I mean by a stretch for sure right it's just that we what do. happens is that people think though what happens is is that with that saying you know you think you're invincible right so you oh i can smoke i can do this guess what i'm gonna you know my it's not gonna affect my skin right because i have all this melanin right. <laughs> right well i'm gonna tell you that i feel that my my skin skin has drooped and since you know, like if you see my pictures, I've got this nice juicy round face, mm -hmm. right? Which I love my little fat face. <laughs> and now that I'm losing weight, I can see like around here. That's exactly the, what happens. The droop area. And I can see around here, you know, they had this conversation about nasal folds. Right. But right up in here. Right. I can, I can see the difference. That's right. In my face. And also when I go down like that, it, <laughs> I mean, I've never got my face down. <laughs> Are you sure? But I know when I got my face down and I'm looking down, mm -hmm. it droops. Come on. Right. It's not as like right. plumpy and firm right. as it was when it was chubby. Right. You know, I don't have, there was a lot of fat under there, but right. now there's not. So there's like in these areas. And it's always this areas that start in these areas that start to go first, right. you know? So I'll cry, but I'm not putting that stuff. I'm Don't not you? shooting yeah, things no. up in my no, face. There's other options. Yeah, I have. Um, and I, you know what I think also is that like, um, I'm going to say African-American women. Yeah. We do do those things like the Restylane and, oh, and, and do all those various different treatments and stuff like that. I, I just don't think we talk about it as much. That's, um, that's not true. Well, maybe, okay, I shouldn't say it isn't true. What I should say is that I found with my clients, obviously, because uh -huh. I'm in the business, right. that um, you don't see it as often, obviously, right. but, but my clients were quick to say, yeah, I had fillers. Yeah, but they will tell you that. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Right. You mean they're they will just go and advertise. Gonna, because oh, something happened to your face. Well, I had a filler. Right, right. No, right. it's like, oh, right. really? Oh, no. It's just right. like maybe that cream. Okay. Okay. You know? <laughs> That's but funny. sorry, because I had a friend who went and had that restaurant thing. Oh, yeah, no, but she must have went to the back street because it didn't look good. It was all sort. Of, she looked like the line from the Wizard of yeah, Oz. Yeah, I don't. I I'm not one to subscribe to it. I don't knock anybody for doing right. it. But I guess because you know I'm fortunate enough that I have other options. Right. Right. There are so other options. There are what are absolutely some of these options? other options? Well, first of all, the the there is some. Um, you know, well, okay, where do I start? Right. There's a million. You said start with the yes, easiest, yes, because thing. you said drooping. So right. when you think about drooping, drooping comes from lax, from your skin being lax. Right. And your skin, that happens obviously from losing weight right. or age or whatever. Right. right. So I think it's a combination of age and um, losing weight. For sure. And I'm scared. That's the thing I'm scared of. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Face down. Here. No, what happened to your phone? I don't want that. No. Go ahead. <laughs> So what you do is that you do treatments that will help your, uh, train your skin to stay. Right. Is it like to, building to, more collagen? To basically stay. Well, building collagen is one of them. Right. Right. Um, naturally building collagen. Yes. Um, there are products out there now that, um, that with, once you put the product on and then use certain devices, it helps to plump without, right. you know, having to use a filler. Right. Um, the, the anion therapy, which is, um, something else that we offer. Um, it's based on cupping, mm -hmm. right? It's, I told you a little bit about that right. before. Uh, that's also for your face. Right. And the difference between the Anion therapy and your traditional cupping is, is that traditional cupping is manual. Right. So the cup is heated up, it's placed on the body, and that withdraws the toxins. Right. Right. Um, the Anion therapy is, a, is based on the same premise, right. but instead it's through a machine so instead of it breathes so right. instead of using artificial heat <clears throat> excuse me or heat to withdraw the toxins you're getting the machine is actually pumping right. and pulling right pumping and pulling so it's breathing right so it's it's when it <clears throat> breathes in it pulls the toxins right. excuse me and when it breathes out it's now giving you negative ion therapy right. which is amazing 
it's also giving you far infrared therapy. Right. And then if you use specific cups within, <clears throat> you know, the arsenal, it can also give you vibrational therapy, magnetic therapy. So right. that's why I've had it can um, do so much. You know what I've had is sound therapy. Yeah, this is like uh, sono, like sort of like sono. Sort of. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. It was really yeah. relaxing. And yeah. Because really, you lay on this bed and it's like a water bed or some sort. And, okay. And the stuff gets, the sounds get funneled through. That's interesting. That was really good. That's interesting. I just wanted to stay there all Like day. I said, there's so many things you can do. Absolutely. Yeah. You just have to be aware. Well, I don't want to, do, I wouldn't want to do any cutting or any kind of yeah, shooting no. things in my face. No. Or, you know, no, me. You don't I'm, have to. It's so funny because I had a friend who she did Botox. Oh, boy. And, um, bo, you know, Botox is, it's a, 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 um, a bacteria. Yeah. Right? Botulism. Right. Botulism. <laughs> and so some people, it, you know, you could get a bad batch where your eye. I've seen her it. Her eye was droopy. That's like so one eye was up and one eye was down. That and is she, bad. Th there was nothing, oh, they, could no, nothing they can it. do about it. She just had to work it out. Right. So she had to walk around with That's a droopy so horrible. eye for like six months. That's hor horrible. In sunglasses. That's horrible. I actually spoke to someone who's a you know, professional who administers it. Right. And it had happened to one of her clients. And she, after that, she was felt so bad that she just stopped. She stopped doing she it. Stopped doing it. Yeah, but they, uh, there was something else that I saw today because there's so many things. Like there's two things that I want to talk about. One is that cream that they always have on Facebook, right? Who's this Which one? one? We, are, we had a bad rat. Oh. Um, the thing that we saw on Facebook um, where you put the cream on, right? It's coming out of Asia. That worries me, right? Mm -hmm. um, you put the cream on and it, in the in you, seconds, you mean the, you the, the Hanukkah? I don't know what it's called. There's so many different things out there. But you put the cream on, all of a sudden the wrinkles go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that for but, real? Well, yes and no. So depending on which product you're talking about, but mm -hmm. I know that there are ones out there. Like Hanicure is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, the Hanicure? Hanicure, yeah. Uh -huh. So, you know, right. I'm plugging somebody else. <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Like, if it's good, it's good. Right. Um, and... Um, and then there are uh, other products out there that's supposed to, you put it on and you take it off. And what happens is that there's this film left on your face uh -huh. and it looks really unnatural. And it's kind of like pulling. Like, it's, like it's Yeah, it's pulling. It's like you got a cake of stuff. So if you put makeup on over it, it doesn't go on smoothly. And it just, you know, if you go online and you, you look at reviews for those products, everyone will always say, yeah, sure, it did make my face tight it but it's like, like white it? but it looks like white no it never not not that <laughs> <laughs> well you know and there's another thing with like with um so you what's good about you is that everything is organic pretty much organic, exactly right? and there's no like um pulling cutting and stuff like that right right um and the face is such, for me right i'm not an artist but i i do like people's faces but the face is such a it's such a specific thing that if you cut and you just cut that little bit too much, mm -hmm. right? I had a friend who had, um, she had her eyes done. Okay. And I was like, why? 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 Right. Because the moment I saw her, I was like, what did you do? What did you do? Right. You know, you know. It doesn't got, look natural. You know when you've got bad surgery. Yeah. When somebody goes, what did you do? Yeah. Not yeah, like, hey, you sad. look so refreshed and yeah, lovely. Sad. Well, that's what they'll tell you, look refreshed and lovely. But her eyes were just like, they were oh, like man. way out there. It's horrible. But you know what I do love? Botched surgeries. You mean the, the, the show? Yes. <laughs> oh, botched. Is it called Botched your, Beauties or something that like that? It's on, it's on Netflix. Botched Bodies. And it's all the bad oh, gosh. Um, surgeries that happen in Europe. That Apparently, like, there's like 60,000. There's not a lot of people in England. Um, like 60,000 surgeries or more surgeries oh. happen per year. And a few of those uh like where people literally one girl she just like i talk about like yes. not having surgery this black girl she had her breast done because she had a huge breast and she wanted to get them reduced. smaller but then when after they did her breast she looked like she had camel humps oh it oh, oh. <laughs> it was horrible and she was oh. so disappointed because she got that money and all that money yeah all right and then she it's not so expensive there though actually and she had like these humps, so her breasts were like long sausages. Oh gosh. It was horrible. And then there was this other lady, it was really sad. She looked like she had a shark bite on her stomach. She went for a tummy tuck. And it looked like somebody 
had taken a bite out of a stomach. Oh, that's horrible. There's just a lot of really that's horrible. bad surgery, a lot of bad infections, just a lot of Yeah, and then you stuff. have people who are traveling outside of the country yes, because they're they getting it for vacation, less. Um, vacation surgery right. or something like that. Exactly. So have you ever and bumped it, into people that like they've done a bad job oh, and for now sure. they want to fix it? For sure. What's, what's I mean, it? absolutely, because sometimes people will come to me because the machine does so much. Mm -hmm. So it actually can enhance your breast. Right. Like you could naturally enhance your breast. Right. Right. You can naturally uh, sh shape your body. Right. So, you know, sometimes they'll come and they want, and, and I can, you can't. Breast. Oh, they want to do something if with there's the breast. Some, if they, damaged. yeah, yeah, it's damaged. Oh, God, yeah, you can't. Terrible. Yeah, my sister, you know, God forbid, God rest her tiny soul. Um, she she um had gotten a mastectomy, one breast, right? And I said, are you going to rebuild it? She's like, no. I wow. said, why? She goes, I'm just not going to do it. Wow. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Wow. And I was like, wow, that must be like really shocking to wow. look at every day when you yes. take a shower. You know that can't I can't have imagine. Been very, healthy for her yeah you know? um but yeah she she was like no she's not doing it and she never did it. wow yeah she never did it but like i was watching something else on tv the other day i know you came here to talk about but these are the the side effects of like when you get bad bad services, or bad services, services yeah. and things like that and i know your good services i've had your services it's great um i saw this um thing on facebook where Facebook has its downside, but it has its informative side. And if you look at all these Instagram, social media, right. things, there are the informative sides. This woman, this woman um, had a breast augmentation. Okay. And what happened was that she went for a mammogram, which I never in a million years thought of breast augmentation, mm -hmm. mammogram. Because to have a, a, a mammogram, it's a lot of breast manipulation, right? That's for sure. It's you're breast in that you're sandwiched. sandwiched. Yeah. To the yeah, side for sure. Forms, you know. Absolutely. And what happened was that her, um, the, the uh, gummy bear that she had in there ruptured. Ah. Now, when she had gotten the, so the breast augmentation, the doctors told her, no, it can't rupture. Well, oh, the, that with the must squashing have been a nightmare. The, it ruptured. And she said she knew it ruptured because the next day when she woke up, she was not, her breasts were not the way she was. Oh, wow. To be. And so what had happened, it ruptured. Oh, my God. Wasn't it like glue? So she Ugh, showed in a. That bucket. sounds pretty dangerous. It is dangerous because it's like, it's like. Uh, it's like wallpaper glue with chewing oh, gum in it almost. Just, so it's like this. It's very that stretchy. Is... And, um, that stuff goes all over your body and they have to try and get that out. Who's responsible? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but we're going to take like, a break and we'll go? be right back. Here you go with that. And we'll figure out who's responsible. <laughs> You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Best designs for your life start at home. I'm David Thiergartner, interior designer and host of At Home. Listen live Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time as we talk to the very best professionals about interior design and the design that's all around us right here on talkradio.nyc. Are you a conscious co-creator? Are you on a quest to raise your vibration and your consciousness? I'm Sam Leibowitz, your Conscious Consultant. And on my show, The Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity, we will touch upon all these topics and more. Listen live at our new time on Thursdays at 12 noon Eastern Time. That's The Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity, Thursdays, 12 noon on talkradio.nyc. TalkingAlternative.com So we're back. On Beyond Potential, Live Life Your Way, and we're talking about all things body. 
like all oh, things yeah. health and unhealthy, right? Yeah. You know? too. And so how would you like people, you know, there's so many things on the market, so many things right. on the market today, right? So many things coming out of China, so many things coming out of all parts of the world, so many things being created here. How does one choose? You know, how do you choose? I, I you know, for me, I, first of all, I have um, there's a couple, this, um, you know, husband and wife, um, they're my suppliers for mm -hmm. me. Um, they're part-time in Asia and part-time here. Mm -hmm. And what they do is, is that, um, they bring product and, um, technology mm -hmm. from, you know, different parts mm -hmm. of, of the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's already tested, tried and true. Mm -hmm. So by the time it gets to me, it's a given. Right. So I don't have to go through that process. Right, right. Once it lands on me, it's, it's good to go. Right. So I'm fortunate in that way. So what it does is two things. It puts me ahead of the pack. Right. Basically, because when I get it, nobody else has it. Right. Right. And um, it also and you like that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And, um, and then it saves me the headache right. of having to... You got your mouth on that microphone. Is my mouth? Can everybody hear me? We can hear you. Okay, yes. good. So, and um, more importantly, it um, it's exciting for me to be able to share with the clients, right. to share with people, right. to be the go-to, to say, oh my God, what does Lisa have next? Like, what do you... It's like, it's so funny the way my clients are. They're like... Okay. What's okay. You? So what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have now? You know what? You know what? So, I mean, I hear you when you say that and I, and I completely um, understand what you're saying because we have, I don't know if our checks and balances are always, you know, like our FDA stuff is right. always a hundred percent. Right. Right. Because a lot of technology, like uh, I'm just going to talk about what I know. It's like the birth, the morning after pill. Remember when the morning after oh, pill yes. came to America? Absolutely. There was so much controversy yes, for sure. about it. And I remember that thing being around when I was 16 years old, right? Right. And uh, so 16 years old, that's like early, that's early, late 70s, early 80s, right? Okay. And, uh, and it only came to America like, what, maybe, what, 15 Not years ago? Not that long ago. Not right. that long ago, right? right? And there's so much controversy about it. I'm like, get over yourselves already. Right. Then we also had, when I was growing up, we had, because I worked in my doctor's surgery, and we had that, that thing that you could slot underneath your arm the birth control, yeah the birth control yeah you put um, right at the chip I don't know what it was called like they put and I had said to my doctor at the time can I get it and he was like no no right I've, yeah <laughs> he was like no you can't have do that, that. And yeah I said, why and he goes those were people that was actually designed for people that don't know how to manage themselves exactly pregnant, exactly like but so when it came here it's like um so much controversy about it. so much there's so much that it's just so we're like it seems like Europe is 20 years ahead, ahead when it comes to the um medications right. when it comes to and half that stuff is not expensive right that's true um but when it comes here it's like so it expensive up. Yes. yeah um the markup so i'm gonna say that like the fda yes it's good to have the fda but i think the fda is not really that good Shh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want them to come and get me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I, I just think like a lot of i just don't think we educate our people right on um you know people just pop stuff and they don't check it out so your clients i'm sure you've done the work you've done the due diligence right the people that are selling you stuff has done the due diligence exactly. you have because i see materials that you have right um but I, I just don't think that we when it comes to our health and well-being we don't educate ourselves that much well, you know, oh, we don't take our, 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 our own health, but most people are doing it now, but I, I don't think we take our health into our own hands. Uh, we should do a lot more. That's for sure. Yeah. I think we trust doctors and I'm not trying to give doctors a bad yeah. rap, but you know, they're people too. And, and they're, you know, they're on they, jobs, they're on just, jobs like just, just like we yeah. are. And they and get their business days just like everybody yes, else. Yes, exactly. Yes. And so you just have to be, um, that person who, okay, yeah, I'm going to go, I'll go to the doctor, but but I'm going to do my own homework. And you have to know your body. You, you have, have to, to understand. become body aware. Yes. So you have to know what works. Because I remember when I had a um, fibroid embolization. Oh, boy. Right? I had this years ago now. And um, I literally did a whole research project on this thing. 
And when I went to the doctors, um, I, you know, I had like a hundred, I'm not kidding. I had a book with a hundred questions. Oh, wow. Right. That's and the reason why I had a hundred questions, I know mm -hmm. a lot of these questions he knew, right? <laughs> he did know them. Okay. But I wanted to, I knew the answers and I wanted to know if he knew the answers. The answer, that I had, that's smart. Or his answers were better right. than mine. Okay. Right. So when I went into the uh, doctors and I said to him, I have, I have a hundred questions. He mm -hmm. goes, what? I said, I have a hundred <laughs> Literally. And he said, let me see. So I showed him my book. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh my God, you have a hundred questions. Wow. And I was like, yeah, Dr. Little Hands, I called him. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Because he had the smallest hand. He was the tiniest little man, but he was oh, wonderful. Okay. And um, he said, in all the years that I have been working and doing these, these surgeries, hysterectomies, mm -hmm. fibroid embolizations, myomectomies, the whole, no one has ever walked in here with a hundred questions. Book. Right. Right. He goes, I'm excited to answer the wow. questions. Yeah, he was excited. Wow. Because it's like, it, it's a conversation right now. Right. There's a back and forth, right? Uh, making know. sure my understanding That's is clear. Doctor. Making sure I'm understand. He was a great That's doctor. That's a good doctor. Yeah. And, um, but a lot of, he said, a lot of people don't. They just come in and, and just, just lay, like, lay, like, lay right. at his feet. Wow. And he, like, he could put cat organs on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and be like, okay, this works. <laughs> whatever <laughs> yeah but like so better, what would you say over. what would you say to people who are looking to enhance themselves even with wigs and things right because they have chemicals in them that's they it. Have, oh see you, you know, know your stuff you know, that's all right that stuff, they have chemicals absolutely in them and, you know what would you say to people who are looking to enhance themselves well first off i would say do your homework right right um you know, this day and age, the internet is just like a wealth of, yeah, yeah, exactly. And of course you have to sift through and, you know, but you have enough comparisons there right. that, you know, you should be able to deduce right. what part is, you know, fluff and what part is, you know, right. okay, I've read this like six times already. So it's probably some truth to it. Right. right? And to see really what's available. Um, and so I'm, my excitement for tonight was to be able to tell people excuse me, actually, that um, there are options. Right. There are options for a lot of the things out there that they're cutting themselves for, you know, um, you know, weight loss. There's I a saw a picture of something that you just showed me, which I might actually come and do. The, the <laughs> thing with the belly stuff. Yes. Right? Because I've right. been working out. I've been exercising. Yes, I do poo. And <laughs> um, But like I was saying that, like when you showed me, the picture and I was like, wow, and the, the amount of toxin this woman had in her right. body. Exactly. I'm like shocked. I'm scared that like I yeah, would you have a lot of toxins, toxins and then I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, that frightens me a little bit. But right? you know, but, it's yeah. not painful. Right. It's no, really no, no. I'm not talking about the procedure. I'm okay. talking about the seeing all these toxins. Got it. Well, that's a good thing. When you see those toxins, if you see them, that means they're no longer in. Right, they're, that's true. They're out. So, so look at it in a positive way, like that. That woman wow. looked like she lost that twenty was, pounds. She did. She did. And she was a little woman. And right, but it, it didn't look like it from her stomach. Right. Because sometimes we carry in different places, and right. there are some people you can work out and do whatever you want to do, and somehow that little pouch, my pouch, just wants to. I won't. <laughs> I won't call live. it a pouch. It it's wants to live. A little bit bigger than a pouch. <laughs> Oh, she's way bigger than a pouch. If it was a pouch, I wouldn't concern myself. Is this our last segment? Yes. Wow. wow, that was fast. Oh, my God. So please share with the people your information. How can they reach you? How yes. can they find you? Okay. So I mean, even though you're very slick. <laughs> yes. It's private by appointment only. Excuse uh -huh. me. Private by appointment only. But, you know, it's, it's if you, you call in, mm -hmm. the website is LHP. The number four beauty.com. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go to the website, you will really get a good feel for just how vast the right. offering is. Um, and if you have any questions, the telephone number is there. You can have, obviously give you them know, the telephone number anyway, call in because this um, goes evergreen. <laughs> so it's 866 916 6504. Right. And and you should get in contact with and her. And you really should. Yeah. Because I haven't even skimmed the surface. Right. Wow. So if you want to get in contact, not if, 
I think one of the things that I think that it's good to tell people and what I like that you said tonight was that if you're an individual or you know an individual mm -hmm. that is experiencing cancer and is going to get any form of chemo treatment mm -hmm. and they have long luscious hair right. or hair that they would like to, um, you can make that into a wig. I think yes. that is like, and I don't really know that powerful. there's anybody who really does that. Right. Um, and you know, again, it's, you know, it's about who, you know, right. Right. It is so, about who you know. It's about who you know. So right. I'm really word of mouth. So the people that, well, also I'm part of Gilda's Club as well. Gilda's Club right. is an organization for people yes. suffering, right, from cancer. cancer. So I get uh, women from there right, as well. And believe it or not, men sometimes. Okay. Yes, men have cancer too, and they have breast issues and yeah. toxins and yeah. all kinds of varicose veins. Mm -hmm. and, exactly. And they even, I saw this thing on TV where the man had a vein in his balls. <laughs> that's not nice no but oh, he was, you wait, wait i wait, saw wait. that on, on, <laughs> on um embarrassing bodies oh my gosh yeah he was in pain well i think the 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 take home is is that if there's veins cellulite you know belly pudge little things that you know nothing stretch marks i right. forgot to say that right. i actually have an answer for stretch marks right which is huge and you if you're a black woman out there that got you think you don't crack trust me yeah <laughs> One day you will wake up root. So on that note, I wish you a good, good evening. And um, thank you so much for coming oh, on the show. You can you. come in again. Thank you for anytime. having me. It's fun. Because there's so many stuff to talk some, about. Yeah, tell me that. So it. thank you. And I will see you guys. No, will I see you guys next week? I'm off. Yeah, yeah I'm going, to, right. I'm going to my sister's funeral. Yeah. So I will see you when I get back. <laughs> You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. Think, 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 think.